Hey up everybody. Uh, right then, I want it next thing on my list, and I'm starting to tick things off now and getting going towards end at list. Up to now, but trouble is I keep adding bits on at end. So one step forward, two steps back. Anyway, I'm going on to couplings now, and I'm going to make them like I made them on my battery electric loco, uh, which I made in a separate video some time back now. I'll take you over to the loco and show you them. So very similar to them, with three slots in to get different heights for the coupling on the riding car. I've found these two pieces of brass. I'm going to do the actual coupling bit that fastens onto the riding car with with that, and machine it back. And then on the sweet pea loco on the stretcher, there's a hole at the back of the buffer beam. Uh, there's the buffer beam through the buffer beam in, in inside the cavity where the stretcher is. I'm going to put a piece of stainless onto that uh, stretcher pivot pin and then come off with this piece of brass which I'm going to machine down to that shape. Just take you over to battery lo loco and you'll you'll probably see better what I'm, what I mean. Yeah, more or less like that it'll turn out like with three different height slots in. There's nothing too technical about this, I'm just going to uh, mill these two sides out and leave, uh, what am I going to leave? Approximately a half inch in the middle where my coupling's going to couple up to, that's going to couple to the stretcher on the loco. Once I've got that, them sides milled out, while I've got it set up I'm going to mill a quarter inch slot in the middle of this, on, on both of them. A uh, coupler to, to fit into, and then it, it'll want two holes drilling just to fix that in. And then once all that's done I can then turn them over and then mill the slots in, the three slots that I mentioned earlier.
Right, I've just finished on milling machine. I'm ready for assembling my couplings together now. So let's see if everything fits. That. So that's going to be pivot point in rear stretcher and front stretcher. Okay, job's a good one. I'm going to try my loco now. That's another one to tick off at least then, that's my couplings finished now, both back and front. So I'll take a look at my list and I'll see what I've got to do next and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching then, bye for now.